So because we're printed one colour over the other, we go from light to dark. And um, so there's a light grey colour under all where there's dark grey. And uh, now I've gone and cut out the areas I want dark grey in the face. And I'm going to be doing black next just for the highlighted areas as per the, the um, plate itself. And again, you want to make sure that you have enough. Well, it's okay, I'm just using pure black at the moment, but if I was using the grey, um, you'd want to make sure you had enough mixed for doing the amount of prints you want to do because you don't want to have to try and match the colour again. Yes. And you've done how many? Five, is it? Uh, I wanted to set a three, so I did five. And you okay. can see that one there um, was registered quite badly. So the, the text is over the other. So it does, you okay. do make the odd mistake. Okay. And it allows you to make the odd mistake and still have your... Yep. your set of three. Okay. So um, this ink is quite old. Um, actually it's in a tube so it's not too bad. The ones in the tubs then tend to get a film on them and a skin. You just want to make sure that, that that's not in it when you're rolling it. Um, and when you do roll it you want to make sure that you're creating a uniform layer so you go in quite thin um, films. You'll kind of get a knack for the the, the sound of it and actually the feel of it, it'll pull on the um, on the roller to the glass plate but not but not stick to it. There's a certain tacking there you can feel when you you know yourself when you mm -hmm. when you get it right. Usually your first print is um, lighter in colour and you build up in in yeah. uh, in hue. It goes to the lino, yeah, absolutely. And it gives them a, a nice print effect, to yeah. very dark. And when you're applying it to the lino, that, you, that is exactly the sound, it's very silent. It shouldn't be squelchy or there shouldn't be stickles of ink. Exactly, yeah. Up, sticking up. Yeah, you don't want that um, stucco effect. You just want it to, to create a nice thin layer and mm -hmm. film. Usually I tend to mark my first print um, of each colour Okay. And stick with it so that it's probably going to be the lightest of the lot, mm -hmm. and um, and the proof print, and then I can build on it from there and decide whether I want to go lighter or darker at any at any stage. If you do get areas where you've hit where you cut and you don't want it to print, you can always remove them afterwards, mm -hmm. which I'll do quickly now. So that thing's now we're ready to pull the first print. And this is the homemade registration board. So I've got um, two 90 degree angles here, one for the plate itself and the next will be for the paper. And these can be um, out or in, depending on what kind of border you want, what kind of size plate you're using. Mm -hmm chance that. Again this is my first print of each colour so I'll use this one first and mm -hmm. see if I'm happy with the, the colour. So that's the point of the registration plate. Is that and this is the point of the registration plate so that's always yeah. in the same spot. That's constant, yeah. And then the wooden spoon just to mm -hmm. work it in circular motion and get the ink off the plate and onto the paper. I see you're being quite gentle though as well, and that you're not pushing the paper down into the reduced areas. I'm trying you're, not you're to. You're saying surface, you're trying to remain on that surface without, without digging down in any areas. As well as that, I've got um, kind of the pupil in the yes. eyes are quite fine, so I yes. don't want to put too much pressure on them and, and end up yeah. snapping them. Mm -hmm. 
And can you have a sneaky peek as to how things are going in terms of the opening can. of the ink without destroying? It's, it's well stuck now, so it's yeah. just, I mean, I haven't done this corner yet, so yes. there won't be any. So to see that you're happy with the ink coming on it, the yeah. black, yeah, very good. It's not as clear the registration that, but at least I know now what, mm -hmm. what um, depth of colour I'm going for. 